Okay, so let's start this video with a question. What would you do if you have to create something like this in your Flutter apps, in which you have to have multiple text widgets with different styling, or you have to add an icon along with the text, or something like this, in which the user can click on certain text and he's taken to a separate URL or something? Well, the most common approach when beginning with Flutter would be to create a row and then add all these widgets as children and so on. Although it's perfectly good and you won't need to think of any other way, but structuring everything in a row can be a bit tedious, especially if widgets grow in count. For example, if there are more than two text widgets here, or you have to have some other text along with the icon on the right hand side, then there can be some issues of overflow. And if you have to add something like this, you have to manage different gesture detectors to detect the user's click on portions of this text. And you can see how this can turn into a widget tree hell. Well, as you all know, that Flutter takes UI pretty seriously, and it gives us with an awesome widget called Rich Text. So let's take an in-depth look at Rich Text and how you can use it in your own Flutter apps. In this tutorial, we'll be taking a look at something like this, which you might have seen on the login screen of certain apps. At this point, I have used Row to create this, but instead we'll be using a Rich Text. So I'll replace this Row with a Rich Text, and this Rich Text requires a property of text which takes an object of inline span. There are multiple type of inline spans that you can use depending upon the content, but in this case, I'll just be using a text span. And in this text span, there are certain properties that we can use. In the text property, we can pass the simple text that we want to add. And there's also a style property with the help of which we can style our text. So first, I'll just add a simple text and I'll add the text of don't have an account. And at this point, if I save the app, you can see that nothing appears on the screen. And the reason for this is because we have not passed any style to this text. And by default, the text is coming out to be white. So in this case, I'll just pass in a style and give it a property of text style, like we give to a normal text widget. And in this, I'll pass in the color property and put it colors.black. I'll save the app and you can see that we can see the text of don't have an account. I'll also increase the size of this text by passing in font size and I'll just pass in a size of 20. Now, to add the register text, what we need to do is we need to use another property of this text span. So I'll come below the style, and here I'll add the property of children. And here you can see that it requires a list of inline spans. So here you can imagine that we can split our text in multiple forms and we can apply different styling to each of them. So in this case, I'll just add the children property, and here I'll pass in a list, and in this list, I'll also add a text span. And in this text span, I'll pass in the text of register, and if I save the app, you can see that the register is right here. At this point, by default, this register is taking the style that is applied to its parent, that is this text span right here. So we need to change the color of register here, and we want to make it bold. So what I'll do is I'll add a style property and pass in a text style, and give it a color of colors.red, and give it a font weight of font weight.bold. And if I save the app, you can see that the color of register is now red and it's bold in comparison to the text on the left hand side. What we also need is we need to add a bit of space between them. So what I'll do is I'll come up to the text span here and after the account and the question mark, I'll add a space and save the app. And you can see that the changes reflect on the app and we now have a space between the register and the don't have an account text. At this point, the UI is done, but there's no way of detecting the user's click on this register text. And without that, this text has no use. Well, the text span has another property for solving this problem too. So for detecting gestures, what we can do is we can come here in the text span after the text style, and we can add another property that is called recognizer. And this takes an instance of gesture recognizer. And for creating a gesture recognizer, what I'll do is I'll come up here and create a final variable of type tab gesture recognizer. And you can see that there are other type of gesture recognizers too, but I'll leave it up to you to try them according to your own needs. What I'll do is I'll create an instance of tab gesture recognizer and name it gesture recognizer. I'll just minimize the emulator. And here I'll initialize this with a constructor of tab gesture recognizer. And what I need to do is I need to give a value to the onTap property of this. So for this, I'll provide it a function. And here I'll just pass in debug print and give it some text of hello world. So once the gesture recognizer is ready, we'll pass the same gesture recognizer for the recognizer property of text span. And I'll open up the run window and I'll just run the app. Now, once the app runs on the emulator, you can see that we have the text here. And if I click on register, 
the hello world text appears on the run window. So our gesture recognizer is working correctly. There are endless possibilities of creating complex text-based applications in Flutter using the rich text widget. But the rich text widget does not limit itself to only the text span. But instead, we can also use a widget span. And here you can pass in any type of widget as a child of this widget span. So in this case, I'll just pass in an icon. And also, I'll change the text of this first text span to share. And here you can see that we have a share string with an icon alongside. At this point, if I just change the size of this font to 30 or 40 instead, you can see that the icon is not properly aligned with the text. And for that, we can use the alignment property of the widget span. And in this alignment, we need to pass in a value in the form of placeholder alignment. And for now, I'll just use placeholder alignment dot middle. And now you can see that the icon is now vertically aligned according to the height of the text. You have seen that the possibilities with the rich text are endless. So if you find this video useful, please hit the like and subscribe button and consider supporting me on Patreon for more Flutter videos coming your way on Flutter Widget Essential series on RetroPortal Studio. See you next time. Peace.